welcome back to a new video. It's me Anushka, hope you're all doing well. Today I'm here for another kind of Indian inspired look. Inspired look? Mm. I don't know what to call these videos. This was supposed to be for Eid but a lot of you said to me in my last video that it's too late so you guys still wanted to see this video. Here I am. I'm gonna upload it. I love doing these looks so it doesn't have to be just for Eid. It's for Indian weddings, hennas, um, Hindus. My battery's running well. So yeah, it can be for a variety of Indian, Asian events, so don't feel like it's just for one thing. And oh my god, guys, if you want to see like a try-on haul, let me know. I really want to do that. Before I go on to the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out, and today's one goes to Serene Bashir. So thank you so much for your sweet comment, hun. And by the way, guys, the outfit is from Om Sara and the jewelry as well, actually. And I also had a little clutch in my hand, which is also from Om Sara. They have like the best quality stuff. Like these are just feel so luxe, so like in Bollywood films. Like I feel like an actress, okay? Anyways, check them out. I'll leave their links and Instagram in the info box. They have really good stuff. And yeah, I'm gonna head out. I hope you guys will enjoy this video and don't forget to leave a thumbs up before you go, okay? All right, so I've already got my brows done and I've done one eye off camera, just to make this tutorial a bit quicker and straight to the point. What I first do is I grab some of my Tarte Shape Tape, if I can find it. This is my Tarte Shape Tape in Tan Sand. And I'm just gonna pop a bit of that on my lid. And I just grab any brush to blend that. Away. For my eyeshadow, I literally used only like two things. So I used my The Masquerade Mini Palette by Juvia's Place. And I actually grabbed this shade here, literally. Since I wanted to make this um, tutorial super easy, I just took that colour and just blended it out on the inner, outer corner. And then a bit, I feel like my nose is blocked. I feel like I sound weird, but anyways. And I just build this kind of like in the crease and then I just grabbed a clean brush and just kind of like blended that out super easy just keep blending I am kind of bringing it out slightly and you can use any pink eyeshadow you want and you don't have to make it this intense I like my eyeshadow to be especially my crease color to be super intense so I'm just blending that out. And then literally, all I did for the lid, I used this Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in Blaze. If you like a, a quick, easy, glittery, sparkly eye, these are so, so good. Like, I'm, I'm literally obsessed. And oh my god, they're just so pigmented, so glittery. And I just literally just pop these all over. Of course, you can use, like, any eyeshadow instead of this. But because these are just so sparkly and it just really adds to the look i thought why not use this today and literally you can just be so messy with it but obviously try to keep it on the mobile lid bit but i love these i obviously have another hourglass product but i've literally been loving this mascara it's the hourglass caution extreme lash mascara and i'm just gonna pop a bunch of mascara on I did put some lashes on like some wispy lashes but you can if you don't really like putting falsies you don't need to wear eyelashes with this look so the lashes I'm using are these primer lashes in D12 they're super nice and lightweight but I just don't know how I feel about them because they have this weird band but I've already put it on the other eye so it's like a stupid like clear band and I don't like when lashes have that I just prefer when it's just black because it, it just ends up look, looking shiny you know okay now I'm taking some eyeliner I'm literally just lining that lash line Okay, so now I'm going to use my Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. If you have dry skin, this stuff is amazing. Like, it just glides onto the skin, makes it feel, like, super plump. I've got this weird spot here, and it's just, like, so painful. Okay, so next up, I'm using my Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation in Brown Sugar. 
This foundation is so nice. Like it literally gives the most flawless finish. I feel like right now it's a bit more on a lighter side for me. But it's okay, I can make it work. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my EX1 Delete Fluid Concealers. I use the shade eight and 13 to mix. I'm just gonna use a brush. These are like super full coverage. Guys, I've been obsessed with Fort Park. Like I really want to go, but I hate when it's so busy. Like I just, I'm so happy when I go Fort Park. Like I just want to go on every single ride. Look at the difference, guys. I think I might just go with Anton. Okay, I'm then going to use some of my Kat Von D loose setting powder. And I'm not going to even bake. Like I'm just literally going to just brush this on top. Oh. I'm just pressing that in. I also do like the center of my forehead. Okay, I definitely need some color back to my face, okay? I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in 35i. It's actually a really nice bronzer. I actually didn't bring the foundation all the way to my hairline because I knew I was going to put some bronzer there anyways because it was on the lighter side because I feel like if you're going to bring a light foundation all the way up there it's just going to look wrong because I'm already tan there anyways so this um, this bronzer has like a very slight like the slightest sheen to it but I kind of like it as a bit of a glow I'm going to put some blush on. I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown blusher in pale pink. It's like a pinky blush like this. I'm just going to brush this into my bronzer. For my highlight, I'm going to use my Huda Beauty Bronze Sands Edition 3D Highlighter Palette. And the shade I'm going to use is this one. I kind of mix these two actually. Okay, I'm going to take some of that same pink eyeshadow and pop that on my lower lash line, just very rough, roughly. Like, this is the part where I just do the quickest, like, I don't even bother. <laughs> you guys know the drill. I you guys know the drill. I'm going to put some mascara on. I'm literally a mess right now. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm just going to do the lips. So I'm going to grab my MAC Lip Pencil in cork. If you are brown skin, you need this lip liner. It's like my go-to. And then for lipstick, I'm going to use the Nip and Fab Matte Liquid Lipstick in Cinnamon. It looks like this. Alright, so I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to put my clothes on, sort my hair out, and then we'll see the final look. So this is the finished look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah, I'm actually really liking this. This is so me. Like, I love the outfit, the jewellery, the hair. Like, my hair was greasy, I'm not going to lie, so I had to improvise, okay? But anyways, I love you guys so much and please give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.